Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today I have a new video where I'm going to show you some secret plugins in Logic Pro X. These are some plugins up here that you all have probably never seen before. It's because for whatever reason, Apple decided to abandon them and make them really hard to find. So they're they're hidden, they are there, but they're not immediately accessible in Logic Pro X. I don't really know why, but uh, there are some useful stuff in here. I've been playing with them today on this little drum loop. So I'm gonna show you those or let you hear those in a second, but let me first show you how to access these plugins. All you need to do is normally, you know, you would click on your insert effects here and then you go through Logic and there's all your stuff stock plugins. However, to access these plugins, you need to hold option on your keyboard before clicking, continue to hold it, and when you scroll down, you're going to see this menu called Legacy. So these are the secret plugins now, or the old abandoned plugins. Uh, so you see you've got the uh, the Averb, which I'm using, the Denoiser, the Groove Shifter, and then I'm also utilizing the um, Guitar Amp Pro. So let me just break down each of these first and show you how I'm using them today. I have a plugin called Groove Shifter. Now what this does, I've got uh, one of my controls that is uh, controlling the swing on my keyboard here. So let's just take a listen to that. So you can get that that uh, cool 75% swing out of it. Use it for performance tools like that, or just to maybe even do some fills and things with your drums. The uh, the next one we have here is the denoiser, and I'm using this in a more uh, unconventional way in that I'm using it on a drum loop. This would probably be a lot more useful on things like voiceover or even vocals if you want to try to take some of the noise out. There's not another denoiser included in Logic Pro X, so I'm not really sure why they wouldn't have this accessible immediately. But uh, let me just show you what I'm doing with it on my drum line here. So let's go over. So you can get that kind of lo-fi, low bit rate sort of effect there. And in combination with some of these other effects I'm gonna show you in a minute, it's really cool. Next one, we've got Averb, which is just a nice little utility reverb low on the CPU. So let's do that one. Right, so last is the Guitar Amp Pro. Now there are some new Guitar Amplifier plugins in Logic Pro X. They've redone the interfaces on many of these. So they look cooler, but this one is still perfectly useful. Sounds great. So let me show you what I'm doing on my drums with this. So pretty cool little amp there. So let me show you with all four of these. I have them just again mapped out to these four controls on my MIDI controller. So in tandem, they do some pretty cool things. So here we go.
right? So you get the idea, some nice options there. And again, some very useful plugins that uh, otherwise, I don't know why they wouldn't have them more accessible for you. But again, just uh, hold down Option or Alt when you go into that Insert Plugin menu, hit up that Legacy menu there, and then you're gonna have access to these secret plugins. If you have any questions about the Legacy plugins in Logic Pro X, feel free to leave a comment below. If you learn anything in the video, please like, subscribe, and consider sharing, and we'll talk to you soon.